of the Week question brought to you by the Volo Museum is waiting for you on the Good Day State Line Facebook page. We're asking you what's one thing you want to do before summer is over. Head over there, answer for your chance to win a GDS swag bag packed with goodies, including a family four pack of passes to the Volo Museum coming up tomorrow. Wellness Week continues with Dr. Tara and Solaris, the High Priestess, plus Erin from State Line Kids is back too. One more thing. Before we go, we had a big weekend, a big, I want to say a big chunk of it we spent we together. Did. Tell, tell me what we did, Tam. So <laughs> we did mud volleyball this yes. weekend. Oh my These God. are the cleaner photos. I look absolutely crazy, because I, but I told everybody I was a little crazy. I told y'all I was not going in there looking cute. I got my no. summer cap on. I was not getting my hair dirty. That's okay. I went with the dirtiest hair on earth. So did you for real? Yeah, I really need to but wash that, it the day before. But, I saying, but that made sense though. Yeah. To go. I had so much fun. I low, I low key not even gonna hold you. I lost my voice because I was, <laughs> I was really like cheering hard for the team. Was it what you expected? Yes, but okay. So you know how I say I'm good at everything. Yeah. So I am good at volleyball on the court, not in the mud. And when I got in, I realized I wasn't gonna be good. So I said I'm not going back in. I'm just gonna do my other great thing and cheer on the team. You were great. So I cheered everybody on. <laughs> uh, one of the reasons why I love mud volleyball is because I. So I played. At, mm -hmm. for a while when I was younger and then like you know I got I stopped being tall everyone got taller I can't like jump and hit yeah. and spike and anything so at some point I couldn't play anymore mm -hmm. like professionally but whatever but when you get in the mud nobody can it's jump and spike different. nobody it's can different. overhand serve so I'm like oh my god I'm kind of good again and yeah. I'm like yes this no, is where I want to be she was I would say um critical thank you critical to the team. She <laughs> we actually this was I played team. in this uh, tournament like four times this is the farthest I've ever been <laughs> um, bleeding after the second game up there in the left hand corner we, I don't know what place we came in, but definitely got super muddy, got some like mud tan lines. Bottom right there, that's my knee. Which is crazy. Yeah, I don't know why that my leg looks so white in that picture, but like my knee crazy. is pretty darn gross and pretty darn injured, but that's what it, you know, our general manager was there and he goes, did you used to play? I'm like, I used to play everything. I did point. it all. <laughs> I did it all. I gotta go, yeah, I have two modes, zero or 100. <laughs> so, as you can see, I'm the, Literally the dirtiest person in all of those photos. Because it was critical to the team. Yeah. The rest of my weekend was a lot more relaxing with City Market Friday night with Sierra. Look at that zucchini. I that got that for four dollars. What a steal. And then yesterday my friend Ellen came out and we had the best day ever. We went grocery shopping together for the last time shopping at Meyer. When was the last time you went grocery shopping with your friend? It's the um, best. And college. Oh, <laughs> find a friend to go grocery shopping. I recommend mm -hmm. it. Here's my actual knee, by the way, if you wanted to see it. It's still it's gross. Bad. We'll see how that goes. Long skirt day. Hope you had a great weekend too. We'd love to see your photos on Facebook. They could be a good day moment. We'll see you tomorrow night. Bye bye.